Hi, it's me, Bob. Uh, Bob Doyle from uh, the movie and film, The Secret. So in the Law of Attraction conversation, we hear a ton about attachment, don't we? And how it's uh, not a good thing. You know, we don't want, we don't, we, we, in the Law of Attraction conversation, it's about, you know, one of the big questions is, well, how do we, how do we want something? How do we have a desire for something and not be attached to it or whatever? Like how do, why, how can we want something without wanting it, etc.? So that's what, attachment. So when we talk about attachment in that conversation, it's, it's, it's because you, if you attach, if you make up your mind that this particular outcome is like the only way you're going to achieve happiness or prosperity or whatever it is you're out, out to do. And so you, you, you say with it, it has to be this way, or it has to be this person, or it has to be this dollar amount, or it has to be by this day, or it has to be that kind of thing. Attachment where it's like, if it, this doesn't happen, then something is wrong. Okay, because that's what happens with attachment. There's this feeling. It's a feeling. Who knows what I'm talking about? Hi, Dior. So there's a difference between being attached to an outcome and being committed to an outcome. Jake, for example, is a screenwriter. So he should be committed to his craft. He should be committed to his success as a screenwriter. Of course you want that commitment because it takes consistent action every day and a rechecking in about why am I doing this? It's a commitment. But how that would show up as attachment is it's got to be this script. It's got to be this script. It's got to be that director. It's got to be this way. It's got to be by this amount of time. That's attachment. And when you have attachment, you, you have blinders on to all the other possibilities that are going to present themselves to you if you're being the person who's going to attract those results. So ideally when you're defining, again, this, this conversation we have here three times a week is about changing your brain wiring. It's not a law of attraction conversation per se, but when you be consistent with who you need to be to get the result you want, the law of attraction, don't worry, is in action and working exactly as you're wanting it to now. But because you're not focused on the law of attraction, is it working? You're actually getting somewhere, you see. So that's why we focus on this. So you definitely want to have a very clear vision of who you want to be, because that that is the per you know the person who's going to attract the success. In, in Jake's case, this the, the screenwriting deals, whatever. Who does he need to be? What does he need to be willing to go through? Right? Like how many quote unquote rejections must he be? willing to go through if he's committed. But if he was attached to that script and it got rejected, what would that do to his dream? What would it do to his state of being, his emotional state? Oh my God, I had everything writing on that. This means I'm not going to succeed. No, no. He's committed to continually writing, continually submitting, continually doing whatever he needs to do to hack away, get the feedback he needs to get so that he can learn and progress to fulfill his commitment to being that screenwriter. You just plug in your thing. Hey, just a quick interruption. If you like what you see here, be sure to click the subscribe button and the notification bell so we can let you know the next time we post a video like this. All right, moving forward. So when you're looking at your goals, you know, it's it, check in with the feeling. Are you attached to it like it must happen? And if it doesn't happen, that means transformation is impossible. It means the universe doesn't want this for me. It means the LOA is garbage. It means this, that, and the other. If it doesn't happen this way, you cut yourself off from all other possibility. Does it feel like that? Or are you committed to the bigger picture, the results that you're going to get as a result of, of successfully completing the rewiring process, which takes some time. And so during that feedback, during that time, you're going to be getting feedback and the old you might have, might take that feedback and say, oh, I'm failing. No, but the new you, the one you're creating knows that feedback is essential. It is the gold. It was, it's what allows you to make the changes and tweak away and, and hack away at the sculpture that is your life until it's just right. And then you're, and that comes from commitment, not attachment. So just look at your goals, look at your dreams and check in. You'll feel it. 
you'll feel it. There's a huge energetic difference and a feeling in your heart when you think about the things you're committed to versus the things you're attached to. And if you haven't thought about it in the terms of attachment, check in with the feeling when you think about your goal. How does it feel? Does it feel exciting? Does it inspire you? Does it motivate you? Does it move you into action? Or does it feel constricted, limited? It has to be this way. Why isn't it working this way? The law of attraction isn't working. Oh my God. All that stuff about the law of attraction not working comes from attachment because you have an expectation that it's supposed to show up a certain way because you saw the movie and there was a genie or whatever. The feedback is on the action you're taking, anything you're doing towards your goal. As you change who you're being out in the world and you're taking different action, you're making different meaning because of the rewiring that you're doing, you're going to get some feedback. You're either going to get closer to your goal or maybe not get anywhere or maybe feel pushed back. Either way, it's feedback and you get to now process this as the future you, the future you is already there. The future you succeeded. Got it? The future you is already there. So you think like the future you. What did the future you have to do with this information that I'm getting right now, this feedback that I'm getting right now to get where I am today? Do you see what I'm doing? We're projecting into the future. So when you get this feedback, think about the feedback from the future you who has succeeded, who had this feedback and did something with it. What did they do? I promise you they didn't quit. They didn't make it mean that they weren't going on in the right direction. This is speaking to anyone. This is, a, this is a huge thing, folks, because the law of attraction conversation tends to get people thinking about specific things they want and they get attached to it. Oh, great, I got this magic wand. Well, I want this and it has to look like this or this magic wand is broken or doesn't exist. And that's just conditioning. That's just how we've been wired to process this law of attraction information that we actually are attracting things. But what it's done is it's gotten all twisted up by the personal development community and the whole thing about let's make it a magic wand. So now everybody's using the law of attraction to change the world instead of themselves, understanding that what you do is you change this and then the law of attraction works beautifully, beautifully without you having to do anything. Just be and take the action, make the meaning, have the thoughts. If, if who you're being right now isn't getting these results that you want, then guess what? It just means it's time to tweak who you're being and you get to choose what that is and use all these tools that are built into our brain to make that happen. It's great. But you gotta have your focus in the right place and attachment is not the way. The attachment is not the way. I cannot tell you, I've been doing this two decades and how much people get attached. And, it, and if it doesn't show up that way, that they categorically deny the law of attraction or anything else. That's attachment. They want to be right about that, you, that all this isn't true more than they want their results. How many people know people like that? They will fight and argue for their limitations so they can be right instead of opening their lives up to infinite possibility. Live as though it's happened. Think as though it's already happened. Make the meaning. You have to think like your future self. When anything comes up, you have to think like your future self, not the one that you're trying to change because that just taps in to the old wiring and you're gonna get the same information and you're gonna get stopped the same way. Hey, it's Bob here. If you got value out of what you saw here, please click the like button so that we know what kind of videos we can keep making for you. Also, if you're new to the channel and you haven't yet subscribed, well, I invite you to do that. It's just one click of a button and click the notification bell so that you'll know the next time we upload a video. In the meantime, share this with friends and family that you care about. And if you'd like to catch up on some of the other stuff we've done here over the years, just click either of these videos. It'll be a good start for you. We'll see you next time.